this was something that I didn't know was ever going to happen. I never thought that I'd be able to see an AFS in person before I'm writing the check for one, most likely. This is one of the first big products from Prusa Pro that are positioned toward businesses and industrial applications. Talk to us about what's going on with the AFS. So what we can see here is uh, first uh, like a stage of the AFS mm -hmm. because the concept of the AFS is a modular, modular one. So uh, basically we have one basic module here mm -hmm. which comes with the robotic hand. Then it's a module with the nine printers uh -huh. which can be multiplied. So basically you can put uh, in theory up to six of these modules next to each other. And then we have module with the, with the we call it shells where the finished and empty sheets are stored inside and ready, they are ready for operator to pick it up or uh, to put a, an empty sheet back to the, okay. to, the, to the process. So these printers are designed if you wanted to print something a lot of times, maybe a lot of individual different things, like when at the Dubai Expo you guys made a bunch of snowflakes to bring snow to the desert, but it's also used if you want to print a big thing, but do it in a lot of pieces. But why would I as a business want the AFS when I could just get, in this case, nine machines to do the same work? What, what does the AFS do that I couldn't do myself? A uh, big inspiration for us was our own print farm, mm -hmm. where we have a lot of experience how to do the farming uh, on the 3D, 3D printer. And one of the biggest problem and issues was the human factor. So basically when you have a lot of human uh, inter interactions in yep. the system, there is always a possibility to induce some errors and some failures and some stuff uh, which you don't want to handle in right. a big scale, right? Another aspect is uh, regular maintenance. Mm -hmm. You need to keep a track of the printers running basically 24 seven of how many print hours they are printed right. and then arrange maintenance accordingly to, to, to the needs. Because mm -hmm. when, the, when the printer is broken, it's not producing and this costs you even more money. And it's not always about the money lost in prints, it's the time lost because then you have to basically turn the dials up a little faster to catch up. Human factors are one of the biggest issues for failure amongst any business period, whether their CEO might be a little crazy or <laughs> the staff weren't properly trained. Another point, and also this comes why we choose, for example, this size of the print bed. Mm -hmm. uh, some or many people are asking us like, why you didn't make it like XL size? Right. XL size means that the print time is approximately one day or even more mm -hmm. for such a huge prints. Yep. And this means that if from the two day print, the downtime is like six hours. The percentage of the, of the yield of the printer yep. is, is like reasonable. But if you have a, a lot of small prints, like two, three, four hours, and the downtime is six hours till the operator came and changed the print sheet, then the yield is already like drastical. It's more than 50%. Right. And this is something which costs you money at the end of, yep. the, of, the, of the job. Now, I'm sure. A lot of people watching have been through an instance where they've got this big print job. So they try to build the plates to be maybe 18 hours, maybe 24 hours, so they can minimize downtime. But now imagine that one of the pointy tippy part in, in your print sheet just fell off, then the whole plate is ruined. With this concept, you can just plan more efficiently mm -hmm. because the parts don't need to be fit that much on, right. on the print plate so uh, you can you can print more effectively because the, on the FDM the, the the print time is linear or almost linear with the parts on the on the print print bed yep if one part takes one hour two parts is probably going to take two hours exactly the only time where that doesn't always scale is when the part is really tiny and you have a relatively high minimum layer time so you have to sit there and wait for everything to cool down exactly so and this is because uh, we have the robotic hand, which can operate even with the really hot uh, build plate. So we can just take out the printed plate immediately, place it into the shelf, come up with the, with the empty clean sheet, put it back to the printer and start the new print immediately. The downtime right now is approximately two minutes. Two minutes takes the, the whole change. That's pretty good. And with the AFS, the printer actually goes down to the bottom and that's where the build plate can pop 
up off the magnetic sheet, then the arm can grab it, right? Exactly, exactly. And then you store your clean, ready to go plates here for the most part, no? It, okay. uh, basically the, the algorithm chooses uh, the, the shortest way, so. Oh, so, so you have some over here and some over there. Exactly. Oh, okay. So, so the only difference is how we track the, sh the, the, the sheets in, right. in, our, in our software yeah. in, on, the, on the back end. So then the operator can see, okay, this one is already printed. This one is ready to be printed. Kind of the cool thing with these plates, and you're not gonna find this on your average Prusa Mark IV or, or even on the XL. All of your plates have QR codes and other codes because the arm is scanning everything to make sure it's where it needs to be and it looks okay, correct? Exactly. According to, to the industrial industry needs, mm -hmm. we want to track everything from the beginning yep. till the end. So basically when the job starts, the print sheet is scanned with its unique QR, mm -hmm. QR code, with its unique uh, ID. And then we keep tracking this unique ID through the whole process. And uh, at the end of the process, we, we have a full, like a bird certificate of this part right. where we know when the print is started, who print, is st print started, uh, on, on which printer was printed. Full traceability. Exactly. Wow. Full traceability, what material was, was put into the printer mm -hmm. and so on and so on. So this is, this is kind of like a next, next generation features which, which are required by the industry standards I would, these days. I would love this so much. <laughs> I wouldn't lose parts and have to reprint things. I don't know where the friggin' parts went because the machine would track everything. And you might say, Grant, how do you know this is an industrial grade? It's because it has a nacelle, okay? <laughs> industrial machines have these. These are status LEDs. They're often called a nacelle. And it's there so that at a glance, you can look over a shop floor and see what is happy, what is angry, and depending on you know how much granularity you have, why the machine might be angry. Exactly. And th this is really designed for industry. Uh, you will have your own Prusa Connect server running in your on your own premise, which you so, need. Yep. Which you, you on basically on many many companies this was like a showstopper, uh, where. Uh, uploading to someone else cloud or some cloud solution, it's Can't no do go. It. It's one of the biggest feature. We listen to our customers where they really requested such a such a feature. Yeah. Then um, there is, a, I would say, like hot swappable mechanism uh, to change the, the the printers, where where you just take it out, put it back. The system recognizes that the printer was changed. Mm -hmm. The production starts immediately. Uh, so the maintenance can be done on uh, some service desk uh, next. No downtime. No, or minimum downtime. Right. Downtime. Voila. Then uh, you you have all the good features of of the Prusa uh, Connect with addi additional features of farm tweaked. I would say Prusa Connect where. Uh, one of the feature is uh, uh, our own neural network trained to detect some print failures and that's th that's convenient yes because so. if I don't have to wait for a print fail to finish for the machine to go in and change it out exactly. I am reducing my downtime because technically a machine that is running but has failed as far as I'm concerned is down so Tommy tell me about the value of this automated system because as a business i get it little downtime and everything but there's more to it than just hey we're constantly monitoring your prints hey we make sure that everything is good hey when the prints are done we get them out of the way there's more to it than this right yes basically the the prusa prusa connect can be accessed uh, through some api so mm -hmm. for example if you have some erp system uh, uh, which where you are tracking all your orders and everything, this can be like backwards filled or taken the data from the ERP system. So it can be like a self uh, feed or I don't know, self, self fed uh, uh, unit. Right, it, uh, which it auto just updates. It automates everything. So it, uh, if we can say it really like in a, in a nice way, it just force some parts out of it mm -hmm. with no hassle. Uh, so the, the arm is moving around here. We, we've seen the, mo the arm moving a bit and that's, that's taking pictures, right? Exactly. Uh, while, while the old printers are printing, the, the manipulator 
the unit with the with the with the camera mm -hmm. is uh, patrolling each of the of the of the printer and taking pictures of the of the prints where we can uh, uh, later on analyze it or analyze it on the fly to find if everything is okay or not exactly so even like uh, we can do some basic spaghetti detective and some of basic recognition of print failures. And speaking of spaghetti, you guys have named these machines and these are all after uh, a foods. Um, I'm assuming calamar is calamari, that's uh, exactly. octopus, right? Yes, yes. Uh, paella, tortilla, croqueta. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they I, have everything I in common. <laughs> they have everything in common and that's, uh, that's uh, these are Spanish foods yep. or typical Spanish foods. The names can be chosen by the... Yeah, you can put whatever you want. Because it's easier to say like uh, during during some maintenance or during some mm -hmm. some some operation it's really easy to say like hey calamar has some some issue or the calamar nozzle is clogged probably can you please check it and you know exactly where to go yep because you know which printer it is but if you say like printer number 22 uh, it's yeah, uh, yeah. probably then you need to find the position of this printer and so on so this is for us, for developers, it's much more easier to recognize the printers by their name than yep. by some numbers or some random random rubbish. As someone that had, when I built all my Mark III's, they each have a different accent color. So they're named after their color. There's yellow, there's blue, there's exactly. white, there's green. <laughs> and that's how I know, because there's only one machine for each particular color. But having the names like this works, and of course they have a nice little place for the name plates. So. Uh, nice little touch there. But uh, Tommy, what is your favorite part of the AFS? It's the journey. Mm -hmm. uh, I really I really enjoyed the journey where we still as a concept, we presented this at the Dubai Expo 2020. Right. And like in some some really crazy movie, the the day after we put the, 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 the PR you know announcement of this of the AFS, the, the phone started ringing like crazy and from the really big companies yeah. and really big players like hey we this is what we really need like you know take it, take our money take our money we need it now it's a hundred percent true right i look at this and say i need it i i i, I can't I, I can't afford it and if it hasn't a cell i can't afford it this machine brings 3d printing and additive manufacturing into the business world and it looks like a business yeah. piece. Another uh, use case which, which we didn't mention in mm -hmm. our um, educational- uh, Oh yeah, uh, schools? Uh, yeah, schools uh, and universities. Yeah. Because this, the whole system is accessible only through, through Crucia Connect, mm -hmm. and local, local uh, uh, entity of, this, of yep. this server. You can easily control who has rights to print, who has, uh, who has possibility to print what. And for example, you can have a bunch of students which they have some uh, reserve time on the machine. Mm -hmm. So for example, you have uh, these three printers for two days and like do whatever you want on there. And that's and it. And you have the full control over this, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a, another another like uh, business business side yep. from, from for the AFS is uh, education, ed educational sphere where uh, uh, right now, the universities they have like a labs with the full of uh, whatever creality uh, enders and uh, prushas and I don't know what whatever yep. they have yep. there. But the students fight between each other. They do. Uh, that, uh, for example, they just cancel someone else's print and they, they just put their own print and they say like, ah, the print was failed, so I cancel it. But yep. yeah, so this is something what's what. Uh, solves also these kind of issues mm -hmm. where you have like full control who is printing what and at what uh, also at what cost right i guess the only thing you would have to do manually is change out filament color if that was needed uh, uh, yes filament filament changing uh, is uh, not yet automated but we are working on that but it's the concept is based on uh, that we use only 2 kg spools mm -hmm. which is a uh, quite a lot of yeah it's filament. quite a lot of filament yeah. and uh, the another good thing is that you can have a different filament in each printer loaded right. so uh, the the Prusa connect detects 
for which filament this was uh, sliced. Mm -hmm. uh, so it recommends or it gives you only to the printer which have loaded that. That's nice. So uh, the loaded that that kind of uh, material. So it produces that, errors it, from people that don't know what they're doing. It would be cool to start seeing AFS make parts in the farm upstairs that, that that was that would be cool to see yes uh, this is actually what is right now ongoing oh uh, okay uh, hey by the end of uh, of this year or like in a, in a few months let's say soon a, tm yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, friday it's it, it's always friday Yes, uh, yeah. Yeah. so next Friday. <laughs> yes, next Friday. <laughs> we will start building uh, additional three units. Mm -hmm. And these three units will be distributed in our company, within our company. Nice. Uh, and uh, one of them will be in the testing mm -hmm. department, of course. We uh, were up there will, earlier. They will, <laughs> they will uh, beat uh, out of uh, this machine everything. Yeah, they, uh, they... <laughs> the and testing guys are not kind to machines, but that's how you know they work well. We're yes. going to be going to the farm next where you can see tons of printers. I'm told almost 600 yes. printers up there running. And I feel like a bank of nine AFS printers could probably account for 15 to 20 regular printers that are running up there just because of the throughput capabilities. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, this is this is approximately our calculations also. One of these three pieces will be will be uh, put also to the farm or actually next to the farm because right now we don't have like space. Where yeah, to I've fit seen it in. photos in there. There's there's no there's, there's no space. No space. No but, space. Uh, yeah, this is uh, this is uh, actually uh, happening soon. So maybe next time when you come, there will be already maybe three or four of AFSs there. So Tommy, if people want to learn more about the AFS, get information on it beyond what we've shown here and maybe just get contact for pricing, where, where could they go for this? The best uh, way is to go to our website. Okay. Uh, this is uh, afs.prusa3d.com. Okay. Or uh, contact uh, directly on our info at uh, prusa3d.com uh, email and to ask for the AFS and our B2B partners will contact you soon. And that's the deal, guys. This is pretty much designed for B2B, although I'm sure there's a few of you makers out there that are like, I need it, 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 and might actually have the budget to put one of these in your house. Whether or not you have the money for a divorce attorney is the next question, but <laughs> hey, that's for future you. Current you just needs to figure out how to get this inside the house without the significant other knowing, you, you feel me? I love to see build plates on each side, the ability for parts to be put away, and, and it looks like we have some parts finishing up here, so we're gonna get to see the arm do its thing, where it takes one print off on the print bed, puts it onto a shelf, grabs another print bed, puts it in place and starts printing again. The things that you do, except you touch the bed with your greasy fingers and you gotta clean the freaking thing. This is robotic, it doesn't have that problem. Anyway guys, I could go on and on and on about this machine. It is super, super awesome and it is empowering businesses to create more, faster and more better for that matter. Before we leave, I do want to give a huge thank you to all of our supporters whose names are listed right next to me at the $5 tier and higher. Without you guys, we wouldn't be here and without the assistance of Printed Solid, we wouldn't be out here either. So thank you to all of you that have made trips like this literally halfway around the world possible to see these kind of things in person. I hope you guys like it as much as I do. Seriously, this has been an amazing experience and I hope you all will be following along because the farm is next. But stay safe out there. Don't forget to call your loved ones. And as always, keep making awesome. Because this is pretty awesome. Tommy, thank you so much. Thank you very it much. It was awesome to see this, but we got to go. We'll see you later. Um, th this is considered over oversized baggage, right? I can, I can just take one of these home. Yeah, with we can wrap it for you.